Hello and welcome back, YouTube. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get much sleep tonight. It's 2.46 a.m. Uh, early Thursday morning, late Wednesday night. July 20th, 2023. Ten more days till my rent is due, and I, I think I have it covered. Other bills not paid. I'm not even worried about that. And um, I'm finally on board with, uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, but I know it's not possible for everybody to watch all of them. So, so uh, yeah, the big news, I'm finally on board with MLS, which is the, the job down at the rental car center, moving cars around. I honestly thought it was moving cars around for the um, Sky Harbor um, car rental center. And it's actually just specifically moving cars around for Hertz. And also their two brands that they own that are their value brands, Dollar Rent-A-Car and... Uh, I forget the name of their other, their other brand, but yeah, specifically doing subcontract work for Hertz. So it'll be interesting if I ever get a call back from the interview I had with Hertz. And of course that I'm probably just going to completely decline because I think, I think the job with MLS is a little bit better. So it's finally uh, a little cooler than 100 degrees outside. It actually feels really good. It's kind of chilly inside the hospital now. Uh, Allison's sleeping peacefully. She did finally eat. Um, so far, I've gone down to the uh, down to the cafeteria twice, which is I forget which which of the space tower looking parts and they have numbers when you're in them it seems like there's four of them from the outside although when i walk through i only see tower one and tower two and i've never seen a proper map of this building so it's kind of it's kind of confusing to be walking through but uh but anyway yeah, i've gone gone down in there twice the dining area in there is super bizarre because it's it's along like one of the outside edges of that super weird shape, which is even weirder shaped on the inside. And then it's got a door. It's got a sign on it, like an emergency exit. Like if you try to go out, you're going to set off an alarm. Although I could have sworn I saw employees going out there, probably to smoke. Because that's what most people go outside for in Phoenix. Which, you know, I'd like to go out for fresh air, but unfortunately there's other people out there smoking, so. But, uh, yeah, even the doorway is shaped like, it was shaped like one of those weird ovals. Um, being super impressed with the food there. Um, there's several different spots for food. First time I went there, I got a slice of pizza and it was a really huge slice and shockingly great. I think it was only about like two dollars and change. Like not only is the food really good, but it's an incredible value. Now I'm curious if those are like late night prices and they're subsidized for the people that work in the hospital late at night. And and that cafeteria is kind of hard to find if for somebody who doesn't work there. So there's that. But the um, second time I went back, there's a a grill area called called bistro where you put in your order with these little checkbox it took me a moment to realize like i'm standing there it's like somebody attained my order and then i realized there are people standing behind me in line waiting for me to fill out these little paper cards with check boxes on them you just put your name on it and check the boxes of what you want and then they call out your name when your order is ready and i got a, a cheesesteak and it was absolutely delicious and it was pretty sizable and it was like five dollars and change. I I honestly feel like coming back here to eat on the regular. <laughs> but I'm not, although I question if I you know if I'd be able to get that far into the hospital without any kind of visitor patch or anything. But uh, 
but yeah, the food has been, food has been excellent. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've ate better today than I have, you know, since I've been here than I have been eating lately. So, so there's that. So, um, the doctor finally came back not too long after I got back into Allison's room and, and what she said was pretty much what I expected was going to happen. Um, she said that all of the tests and all of her vitals look normal, which is pretty much all that they look for in an emergency room. What I, uh, colloquially, colloquially referred to as emergency room shit. Yeah. All you guys are doing here is emergency room shit. And I wasn't sliding the doctor for that. I was just trying to make it clear what was going on with Allison since Allison isn't being particularly coherent. And granted I was being extremely blunt, which was upsetting Allison, but you know, whatever. Are you denying you have addiction problems or are you denying you have mental health problems? Cause, uh, because, um, yeah, those are those are problems. You just need to, you know, stand up, face them, address them, deal with them. And the emergency room is not the place to to deal with those. That, that you need to you need to go to uh, detox places to deal with your uh, deal with your addiction shit. And you need to go to mental health places to deal with your mental health shit. Those aren't things that they really address. Um. In an emergency room. By emergency room shit, I mean they, they're checking your... Making sure you're not bleeding. Making sure you're not going to have... All your parts are together. All your wounds are healed up. You not you don't need to go in for surgery. Now, I definitely believe that Allison is having some medical problems. But again, not emergency room shit. Is stuff that she should maybe be following up with, with a primary care physician, and maybe be getting some referrals from her primary care physician to a to, to some kind of specialist. And I'm not even talking about the addiction stuff or, or any of the mental health talk stuff. I'm talking about actual physical ailments that she's having because she is having difficulty walking. There's some stuff. Now, how much of that is is in her head? And how much of that is due to um, poor nutrition? And her just not eating, but I mean, I know she's having trouble keeping food down. And again, that's, that's, you know, that's health stuff. And maybe some specialists should be looking at that, but that's not emergency room shit. That's not the shit that gets done in emergency rooms. In emergency rooms, they basically make sure that you don't need to be rushed in for surgery. You don't have any horrible open wounds and your vitals are good. And then out the door with you. Follow up your primary care physician. We're not your primary care physician. This is the emergency room. We just do emergency room shit here. Um, at least as much as it upset Alice and I had a, uh, I had a pretty solid talk with the doctor. Of course, she interrupted me a couple of times. A couple of times I just bluntly said, I said, do you need to stop interrupting? That's fucking rude. <laughs> just went back to talking to the doctor. Um, I'm talking about how the streets were in place and things lined up with the streets. It just occurred to me that the, the entrance to the old, to what was not the original main entrance, but the old main entrance current to the main entrance that is the main entrance now, this entrance we now call the east entrance, um, and then that driveway into that medical office building, I just noticed that it, this seems to be exactly where Brill Street was. So hopefully I don't rile up security, but I think I'm going to walk this way along the route of what used to be East Brill Street and see if I get a, uh, see if there's a pedestrian walkway that goes this, this route. And if at some point I connect back up with, with a piece that is still Brill Street. This isn't quite how I envisioned this going. Oh, my goodness. 